So we've sold the van. Yay! And we bought a Volkswagen Crafter. We're going to go pick her up today. I'll run you through the plans that we've got and then show you our newest acquisition. So we sat down and talked about the aspects we liked from the T4 to bring into the crafter. So having the seating area by the door so we could look straight out at whatever view we've got was something that we liked. Don't you kick that. So we've got a rock and roller bed here facing backwards with uh, a table here that would pull up and down. I don't know how to explain that. Hand signal worked rather well. You pull it up and then it goes down. Um, we're going to have a self-built chair here which is going to be the headrest for the rock and roller bed. So this is actually going to go all the way up to here. You can see the square. Uh, we're going to have a little side table here. A little power point. Do some charging. It's probably going to be a USB. Might have a USB there. We're undecided about it. Somebody says no. I say yes. <laughs> um, in the wardrobe, all the power is going to converge. So we're going to have the batteries in there or under these seats. All the um, all the power cables should run down here and to the batteries. We're going to have the toilet here, with the skylight in there. It's basic camper van, caravan, bathroom, so it's nothing fancy there. The kitchen's going to be on this side. It should uh, got a nice corner cut off it, so it's got a nice little walkway. I'm trying to keep this at 50 centimetres all the way around, so that we've got passing areas. Uh, we might have an extra surface in here that pull across. Kind of some dodgy sketching on this side, just ignore that. So that would pull across here, blocking off the rear door so we'd have an extra surface to work with. Right, so we're thinking of having lights, two lights over the seating area, uh, a light over the kitchen and a, obviously a light in the bathroom. It'd be a bit interesting trying to go to the toilet in the dark. Think about having, we're going to have uh, raised cabinets over here with maybe some like under unit lighting. <coughs> We're going to have the fridge there with uh, an, an induction hob built into the surface. We're going to have a sink in this corner here with a like surface that goes over it, like into the sink. I, I, words. Uh, we've just got notes on generally everything. We've literally sat down and talked about everything that we wanted to put into this van. So, um, are we thinking of a TV mounted here on the side of the wardrobe so that anyone in the rock and roller bed with the seat belts, it's a little 12 volt TV linked into the cab, you can just run that off the car battery or van battery while we're driving or if we've got power in the solar we could run it through that, I'm not quite sure about that at the minute. So that while we're driving, because this is going to be an M1 tested proper rock and roller bed, so that uh, somebody who's pooping can sit in the back. <laughs> Anything else to talk about? Well, her bed's going to be over the cab. We haven't really got a cab drawn in, so we've got to this side. Just have uh, over cab storage, simple, nothing magical about it. Then we're going to put in. Uh, put mattress on it, that's going to be her bed. She's going to have a little rope ladder. Oh yeah, we're going to raise the floor at the back here for tanks for the bathroom and the kitchen. It's all together nicely so we can have the three waste, the two waste tanks and the one water tank at the back. So this is uh, underneath there would be access from the back. Now, one stipulation on that is that Matt does not bang his head is the tallest after we've raised the floor so measuring wise I don't know we'll find that out don't know how high it is uh, any more notes that are interesting we've, we've kind of decided against the split charge we're just gonna have a 
3.40 per hook up at campsite. Oh, there is one rule Matt has put in, this is over here with a star, there's no carpet lining onto bare metal because uh, there was a lot of that in the T4 and he hated it so much. <laughs> I'm going to have windows in, one in the door and one here, not thinking about putting any windows anywhere else because we're going to have skylights so there should be enough natural light that way and at night obviously we're going to be using the solar lights so I think that's everything so we'll just have to wait for it to arrive and then we can start faffing. We went to pick up the van, it needed some fuel, so uh, I beat Matt home. <laughs> so we're just waiting on him turning up. And here she comes! Ba -ba -ba. Ah, she's so massive. <laughs> So this is our new van, she's absolutely massive, I mean she's right up to the gas box and she's hanging over the curb, this is ridiculous. The first job we had to do was uh, try and get the windows to stop going down. The minute Matt set off, the passenger window started going down inch by inch and the driver's window as well. So that was interesting. When I opened it up, it was wet. So the guys who cleaned this thing really went over the top. Um, kind of assuming that's part of the window problem. So we're just didn't gonna do a quick walk around the van. We got a far 9,300 and something ish for such a low price there's barely anything wrong with her there's a car in the way our car so I'll just have to uh, do my best to show you the rear there was a sticker on the back from where we bought it but we took it off Ooh, bit of sunshine I'll have to just walk around the car now So we're going to make it our project for the next few years to turn this into a working camper van. Sun. You can see she's in pretty decent condition. Obviously Matt could not wait to get the camper van decals on. Now we can officially say we've got a new camper. I'll just show you down that side as the sun was in the way. The second job we did on her was changing out the aerial to a little dinky one. So I climbed on the bonnet. <laughs> it's very high up. Okay. So this is our cab. Check out our next video when we take out the bulkhead. <laughs>